what's happening sojourner life here gonna do a review on my uh, four string Mitchell acoustic bass uh, bought this thing uh, about three months ago fell in love with it pretty quick um, basically went around trying the Dean's the Ibanez's the fenders all this stuff in like 350 or less price range and uh, ended up with uh, you know a bunch of bases I don't like so <laughs> luckily found one I did like um, and the biggest uh, the biggest thing about it is you can hear it it's loud and it rings it's got a little bit of a if you hit it too hard definitely getting some fret buzz Playing back near the bridge here is a little bit better. Really clean. All right, give you a little demo first and I'll go on about it. So uh, these are the original strings that came on it. I believe it comes with uh, Daddario's on there. Um, looks like bronze phosphor. Uh, kind of goes with the overall. Oh man, wish I cleaned this up a little bit. Kind of goes with the overall look of the guitar, you know, just kind of a rustic uh, earth tone look, you know. Um, one of my favorite features is this, uh, is this neck, man. <laughs> this fretboard is beautiful wood. It's got a nice, it's got nice binding on it, and uh, I love that these inlays are, you know, just a little bit special, you know. Um, looking at the uh, headstock here, um, it's just it's a almost open book uh, tulip um, style design um, with evenly spaced uh, <clears throat> tuning hardware, um, but. It's a little different. It's definitely got a got a bend to it. It's a little tough to see with my strap on there, but that's a necessity for me. Um, yeah, as I said, these uh, machine heads are pretty nice. Um, they feel pretty uh, pretty sturdy. No play. Um, have no complaints on the uh, build quality, especially on the neck side here. Um, they kind of have a cool. Uh, there's no way this is going to show up on YouTube, but this is actually kind of inset, so they almost like put a resin clear over the top of this. So when I <laughs> when I actually get around to changing the strings, um, which I have some DRs I'm ready to throw on here, um, get it cleaned up, and uh, it looks beautiful. Has a real nice gloss on the on the head, and you know uh, jumbo frets, nothing too insane. Um, I actually didn't have to adjust this out of the box. If you can see here, that that plays pretty nice, and it's got a nice bow, um, you know, profile. So uh, yeah, no adjustments needed. Um, nuts pretty good. It's uh, this. It says it's man-made ivory. Um, you know, who knows what that really means, but. Um, feels good uh, holds tuned decently well I think it's still I think now that my strings are a little bit old and dim this thing was real bright when I first got these strings on it um, I think now it's getting a little bit loose and easier to stay in tune took a took a month of tuning every time I played it whether it was six uh, six hours or a day you know in, in between plays I'd have to retune um, while playing it, it, it does hold, hold its tune pretty well, even with some slap. Um, going down, so I'm going to show you this binding first. We got front and back binding on the whole thing with this beautiful wood. It just, it looks gorgeous. Here's your pickup down here on the bottom. And uh, we have a... Um, 
uh, let's see, presence plus three e EQ, um, little volume knob. And the coolest thing is this little pull out battery tray. It works really well. Just pop the battery in. Came with a battery, came with a truss rod adjustment, all sorts of cool shit. Um, probably the same material down here on the bottom looks a little plasticky. Um, bridge overall looks nice. Uh, these inlays, I just wish it was solid wood. These inlays are not flush and they're not centered and they have like some glue. I just wish they didn't try so hard. Could have just left it, you know, because the finish on this wood is fucking insane. Wow, part of my language. Hope I uh, don't offend anyone there, but damn, this wood look good. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And then um, another really cool thing. These are the inlays I do like. So some perloid or mother of perloid, <laughs> whatever you call this. Uh, they're actually several little pieces chained together here and it's pretty cool looking it's unique um, it's already getting dirty uh, which just means it'll look real rustic real fast so um, yeah full cutaway I need to access 15 pretty often um, for how I play I like kind of playing the higher tones a little bit mid bass um, slaps pretty well, plucks really well, pick is insanely loud, I'll do a little finger pick coming up and then, um, do a little slap demo for you right now, uh, not gonna have the chance to plug it in, um, but maybe I'll do another one later, so, uh, comment if you want to hear more, um, I'll, you know, coming out of this beautiful thing. Ah, it's just this this natural wood finish is just so nice just the striping on it really love this thing so yeah this is the uh, T239 BCE BST I think BST stands for um, the finish and stuff or maybe the fretboard but anyways here's a I'm just gonna emulate a pick and uh, play a little Pennywise take um gonna one take this so bear with me um give you a little slap now sounds pretty good um, finish off with uh, my favorite little ditty and uh, kind of the reason why I got this thing is because it plays Muse uh, hysteria so well um, of course it should be pick style I've been getting good with the finger style so I'm gonna try that out um, gets a nice cleaner sound out of here um, and uh, yeah we'll leave you with that so um, here we go as it is not not good been playing a long time just uh, never put in the effort needed really to get good so um, I don't know as a little hobbyist and stuff this is about as good as it gets um, <laughs> I freaking love this thing uh, 
I played some real high-end acoustic basses that do sound great, some resonators that are pretty loud and stuff. This thing's a 30-inch scale, uh, which helps keep the weight down and keeps the balance. When I'm standing, I can just play this thing all day, no problem. Just sits right where it needs to be. Um, plugged in, again, it sounds amazing. Of course, Muse, like, when it's plugged in with some distortion and you're getting the... And you're getting that bend. God, this thing just bends so well. It's sitting there ringing. It's gonna, it's gonna stay ringing for 10, 15, 20 seconds, depending on where you hit it. Bending it out. Harmonics sound great. <laughs> Still ringing. Love this thing. Anyways, thanks for checking out my shitty review on an amazing guitar. Um, bring for the buck. Can't be beat. Sound in its in its class can't be beat. I'd say you're really looking at 600 bucks plus to to beat this thing's sound. Um, plugged in it, again it sounds great a bunch of bunch of feedback that's my problem right now I'm trying to figure out how to mitigate that see people covering the holes I don't want to do that so we'll see anyways um, let me know what you think of this review let me know if you got one of these things and um, looking forward to hearing if you guys like this format I haven't really tried anything like this I just I love it so much I had to talk about it so thanks for hearing me out guys peace Send love from Long Beach.